Next we're going to review the anatomy of the right ventricle. So the right ventricle is separated from the right atrium by the tricuspid valve. Again, you don't really see the tricuspid valve in very much detail, but it's useful to know that the tricuspid valve has an anterior, posterior, and septal leaflets. Again, you'll never see those uh, normal healthy leaflets very good, but what you will see is the papillary muscles that are connected to the leaflets by the corda tendine. Now, there are anterior, posterior, and septal papillary, papillary muscles um, but they are very variable in how they look and in many cases you cannot see them very well at all. The most prominent one is the anterior papillary muscle which we can see in this patient right here coming off of the anterior wall of the heart. Again you're going to see the papillary muscle but you won't see the corda tendine or its connection to the valve leaflet. I believe in this patient we can also see probably a portion of the Let's see if I can find it down here. Um, probably a portion of the septal papillary muscle that we can see on this portion of the heart, and maybe even a little bit of the inferior papillary muscle here. I had to search around quite a bit till I could find a patient that had uh, papillary muscles that you could kind of sort of make out. Um, again, there's a highly variable anatomy there, and you may not see them all. Usually you will see the anterior papillary muscle, however. Um, this brings us to the next kind of trabecular muscle feature that you'll see in the right atrium, and that is this prominent band which extends from the septum towards the free wall of the right ventricle. This is known as the moderator band and um, properly connects the papillary muscles of the septal papillary muscle to some of the root fibers of the anterior papillary muscle. The moderator band functions as an electrical conduit for the right bundle to um, help promote the electrical conduction of the heart. The moderator band also has variable anatomy, but you can usually um, see it. It's one of the landmarks that helps you identify the true anatomic right ventricle, uh, which can be helpful in some patients with complex congenital heart disease where the chamber morphology and physiology is not normal and straightforward. So we've talked about the tricuspid valve and leaflets, the papillary muscle. Um, it's useful to observe that um, the right ventricle is really heavily trabeculated uh, in comparison to the left ventricle, which we'll talk about uh, shortly. The right ventricle extends superiorly into the right ventricular outflow tract, which we've already talked about, and is separated from the main pulmonary artery by the pulmonary valve. So again, the right ventricle separated from the right atrium by the tricuspid valve, showing anterior, posterior, and septal leaflets. These leaflets are connected by corda tendine to papillary muscles, which arise from the walls of the right ventricle. And there is a moderator band which extends from the septum to the free wall of the right ventricle that's useful in electrical conduction. And the right ventricle pumps heart to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries by way of the right ventricular outflow tract.